Hey guys, this is a JavaScript tutorial for one tap. I want to hopefully move into some pretty complicated things, but for now, um, I'm just going to keep it very simple for this first episode and see what you guys think and what you want to see in the future, or if you even want me to continue making these. And uh, yeah, I just kind of want to jump right into things. So I want to pull up the API which is, uh, yeah, so it's just, you just go to the one tap.com and you can use slash resources, or you can just click scripting and you can see the most recent added things, or you can just navigate around by tab. So general would be things like class IDs and properties. And then you have globals, which are, uh, things like show commands. So global stuff commands that's just going to tell you how many commands have been choked uh, you can get real time frame time basically I'm not gonna go through everything but this is just the documentation and this is where you'd go if you need to know how to do things or how things work and then like what they return so like return to an array of strings it's pretty nice and it's very helpful when you're just starting out so Next, I want to go over snippets, which are, let me find them on the forums quickly, just so I can show you. I made a post about it. All right, here we go. Okay. So here are the snippets. Um, I'll show you how to actually add them to your Visual Studio. So you're gonna want to click settings, user snippets. Um, you can see that I have these two from uh, different videos or whatever. And here's my one that I'm currently using, which is up to date. You can see it has pretty much everything. And that basically allows you to do things like, if you type in the first word or whatever, or you can type in that and it'll help you autocomplete when you press tab. It's pretty awesome. Very, very useful, like I said, for the uh, people that are just learning. So now how to get them. You want to go settings, user snippets, uh, new snippets, javascript.json. I already have one, so I can't really do it. But then you're going to want to go to, uh, you want to go to my post, click the paste bin, and then click raw, and then copy all of this. All of, make sure you get all of it, otherwise it might not work. Probably won't work. And you're going to paste it into javascript.json. So it looks like this. And you basically have some pretty awesome tab complete. It's very, very useful. Uh, with that said, I'm just gonna do a pretty common starter thing for a tutorial, which is hello world. So to begin, we're gonna wanna print some text. So cheat.print prints anything you put in that's, as long as it's a string to the console. So for example, print hello world go here see it says hello world now one thing you could notice is that these aren't going to be on a new line because you didn't like you have to add a uh, new line escape character which is backslash n and this is what's called an escape character which takes anything out of a string and counts it as something that can be used as uh, formatting or there's pretty, pretty, uh, plenty of things that it could be used for. Say for example, you want to have a quotation mark in here, but you can't have a quotation mark in here um, in a string because that would break the string. So you'd escape the quotation mark and it would just be a part of the string now. So you can see, there you go. And now if we print two of these, see that they're on new lines which is pretty nice all right <laughs> anyway for colors so another cool thing you can do is print color and this takes a color so it takes red green blue and alpha and then it takes a string so and now if we run it it's red and then yeah you can just play around the colors there it's nice now it's pink and actually red. 
But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to really go over because I wanted to get the basics done for everybody and everything set up. Uh, the program that I'm using is called Visual Studio Code. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy to set up, very intuitive, very easy, good for beginners. But uh, yeah, please do let me know what you want me to do in the future for tutorials. I'm thinking for the next video that I do, I want to do callbacks and events, which is something I know Ed already covered on the forums, but it's kind of crucial to cover. It's very important to a lot of things. Otherwise, your code only runs once. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comments. Bye.